Hi, it's Mrs. McMillan. I'm going to read to you Full House, written by Dale Ann Dodds and illustrated by Abby Carter. I hope you enjoy this book. Full House, an invitation to fractions. The Strawberry Inn was run by Miss Bloom. Happy was she to fill every room. With one for herself and five for the guests, there were six rooms in all for a cozy night's rest. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Aye, a rest, that be my wish, said Sea Captain Duffy, who smelled just like fish. So Sea Captain Duffy, all tired and done, followed Miss Bloom to room number one. Now one room of six had a guest for the night to fill up the end would be pure delight. Knock, knock went the door, ding dong the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Charmed, I'm sure, said the Duchess Buffet. Smoochie and I are on holiday. So the Duchess Buffet in sapphires of blue followed Miss Bloom to room number two. Now two rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill at the inn would be pure delight. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. Care for a hairbrush, a toothbrush, a comb, or maybe a vacuum, said salesman Jerome. Arms full of shoe polish, pots, pans, and tea. He followed Miss Bloom to room number three. Now three rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill up the inn would be pure delight. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. In town for my show, said trainer Pekine. From smallest to largest, his dog stood in line. Then Tanner P. Klein and doggies galore danced down the hall to room number four. Now four rooms of six had guests for the night. To fill at the inn would be pure delight. Knock, knock went the door. Ding dong, the bell rang. Welcome, welcome, Miss Bloom sang. My biggest race ever, said Johnny Z Power. I hit 210 miles per hour. Carrying his trophy and pleased to arrive, he followed Miss Bloom to room number five. Five rooms had six guests for the night, filling Miss Bloom with pure delight. Then into the kitchen, Miss Bloom went to make a scrumptious dinner for all to partake. There were chicken and peas, potatoes au gratin, but the very best part, Miss Bloom had forgotten. A strawberry cake with whipped cream piled high still sat on the counter when the last dish was dry. Tired and happy, they all went to bed. Miss Bloom in room six. It's a full house, she said. The guest and Miss Bloom all called out, good night, plumped up each pillow and turned off each light. But then in the dark came shuffles and wiggles, whispers and mumbles and scuffles and giggles. Shadows were tiptoeing down the long hall. But where were they going? Bathrobes and all. Or slurp, yum, yum. Suddenly, Miss Bloom sat up in her bed. Something's not right in my inn, she said. She rushed to the kitchen and turned on the light. There she saw an astonishing sight. Five out of six, and the dogs and the cat stood covered in cake from toe to top hat. Well, said Miss Bloom, tiddly dee, thanks for saving the last pie for me. The end. Thanks for listening.